Not only do we share the roads with scooters in Nashville, but we also have uh, an array of party buses. Now we've got wagons, even tractors going through downtown. Always something to do downtown. Really cool stuff and a new one in town is bound to catch your attention. So we're going to check that out. News Channel 5's Mo Hyder's live on Broadway this morning. And Mo, this one is pretty unique. Yeah, I rode this one myself. I'm here on Broadway, in fact, just a few days ago. While it is a good time, you can also feel good about yourself by giving back to our brave servicemen and women. It's a ride typically used by the military, but this one is for everyone. This is Hell on Wheels. All right, guys, we're taking off. It's a decommissioned uh, troop transport, so it's a five ton. It was built to carry, uh, you know, troops in, in combat situations and scenarios. Behind the wheel is Philip Palma. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. <laughs> and Nick Lyon. This idea hit me like a ton of bricks. I had, I knew I had something special. But before it hit the streets of Nashville, they had to order it all the way from Northwest Wyoming. We bought it, got it down here, I think two days later. After quitting their day jobs, their focus now is to show people a good time while experiencing something used by the armed forces. But their mission goes beyond that. We're giving uh, two and a half percent of all proceeds to the Homes for Our Troops uh, charity. A charity that helps build and donate custom homes to post 9-11 vets. It was amazing that we that we found them and were able to partner with them. For veterans like PJ Kellogg, seeing and riding in this vehicle means so much more. We train in these vehicles, we go to Iraq in these vehicles, and now I get to go up and down my hometown in these vehicles. Army vet Luke Pell feels it's a great way to spread awareness. The public seems to sometimes kind of forget uh, about the men and women that are continue to serve, the men and women that have uh, uh, still suffering from, you know, wounds and, and from implications of the time that they serve. And outside the fun, others say the best part is giving back. You're going to get with your friends, you're going to have a good time, but you're also going to be able to feel good about it when you leave. Living up to their mission. Party with a purpose, absolutely. Now, both Phil and Nick say they're just getting started. They do have a lot of plans for this. They do hope to employ some veterans as well as to expand their fleet. But for now, we're live on Broadway this morning, Ohio News Channel 5.